hello everyone welcome to abc tutorial and thanks to watching this video and thanks also for watching the articles in abctutorial.com so you can go abc tutorial for any kind of your article or you can go abctutorial.com slash community for any kind of request or your any kind of expectation or you can post anything or your problem code related problem here so guys in my previous videos what i was uh, teaching you about the learning of login about po and point point of sale actually so in point of sale series i'm going through login and login processes so in this part i mean part number eight i will show you the full process of uh, authentication i mean how you can manage a role based authentication so in previous videos i already showed how you can convert md5 and how you can uh, manage authorized filter custom authorized filter but through this custom authorized filter how you can restrict a view a specific view for a specific role i mean if i say so i want to restrict this view for admin role i mean this is admin and i want to uh, restrict this uh, view for editor role so i can manage it so i can do it so in this big project i mean majority percent of big project uh, managing the role and uh, role permissions like this so uh, for this i will start this part number eight to how to manage rules and how you can permit the rules for a view and you can manage it from database tables so just follow me i'm doing and i'm starting work first i have to create a table there id enter there here will be role and worker here will be tag so it will be auto incremented and primary key and so how how this table will work so you just follow me and i'm shortly describing here here will be role what role i want to permit and here will be view name i mean view controller and the method name so these two addition will be here role and tag so i'm just creating this table so table name will be role permission i just created table here yes table is created here so take update this table in our model so i will take update from database refresh yeah so on the role permission is update here So you decided here. So for this work, I have to add a view, right? So I will add a view, which will be access D night. So the view view name is access D night. So add view. Thank you. 
access access denied so i will access denied or you can write here you are not authorized to you are not authorized just write it so in that case i have to provide some logic inside the authorization filter because in every view i will use authorization filter so in authorization filter i will just add here some things like i will take username globally then it will be easy So convert to a string I will take also roles here so for rows I have to set first the rules because I will I will permit everything I mean I will check everything based on their role so for this I have to when I'm login so I have to set role here role because I have already role in my table I mean user table I have a role so I am setting the role here just role and this will be role and if username is null then it will check the hair and I will check one if username not equal null and username not equal empty then it will go inside so here I will provide now here goal is formatted it will be will false so here I will view permission I will take view permission from database from database mean from my permission table I mean here my table where I will check the view for a role is existing or not so for that case I have to add this context name here this control dot reference will come just add so db dot role permissions where I'll check uh, I'll give it small x role equal my coming rule I mean what role I logged in as so this rule will be here and and there will be tag so where I will get this tag I mean here we'll have a tag I mean tag mean view which view I, I want to see so here I have to store a view for a role I mean if I give a view for a role then I can then that, that means this is permitted for this role so I will take this tag when when user will logged in and then user will provide us the session role a uh, role as a session so I'm getting role and when user will click like user will want to see this view in this view that means that time I have to take this uh, view name right so for this that case I copy its view code and this code I will provide here So 
drop it here no problem because this is global code so here action name see here the action name and the controller name and the tag tag mean controller name and action name so in this format i will store also when i am permitting a, a view for it in role so i will check this tag with this tag and this will be single or default and if view permission not equal to null then this will be true else this will be else, so else is not required because if view is null then it will be true otherwise it will be else so then if is permitted equal false then i will redirect this user to a view so just copy code i'm, I'm copying you can find this code in my article ubtutorial.com so for code you have to go abc tutorial so if permitted is false then i will go access denied page this is my access denied page so here i will just run this project see our project is uh, loaded so <coughs> I will try so first see the table is blank and I want to log in as the admin login so what I shown in my previous videos see when I mean index page so called index not index it's login so see when it's login success then it will go to home index right so it's supposed to index page right one two three four five six see so see it's login but it's redirect me to home access denied page because you are not authorized I mean I am not authorized to see this page so if I want to see this page what I have to do I mean I should have a permission for my role so mean in admin user I have a role admin so for admin role I will add home so home home mean controller name so you can understand this code here this action this controller so action controller and action is equal tag right so here I should have to controller name and index name so for admin this controller name home controller index I mean for admin this view I mean this view home controller home controller index view is permitted so now if I want to access home index page then see it's coming right so if I again delete this let's copy first and delete see now if I reload this page see it's come it's redirect to me in you are not authorized page 
so that means this is the case how you can manage your role I mean if you permit your role for review you can manage from database and you can do it in your project it's a dynamic pro dynamic process how every big project are using and this process in every big project this process is using currently because for every big project we are managing a user by their roles so if you permit a view for this roles then that means this view will be permitted for this user so thank you for watching this video and you can see my next videos and previous videos for better understanding because it's a big series point of sale and in this series i will show everything and i will cover everything what will be very exciting things like these things you will learn more uh, about exciting point of sale management system and inside the point of sale i will discuss about login and this kind of small things what will be very effective for your learning process thank you very much and keep subscribed